Cassandra. It was never supposed to be like this. Decades ago, a group of people gathered together to uphold a theory which they believed could control the universe. That the world functioned in equal parts, order and disorder. But some fell lovingly into the wicked arms of chaos, and the cult of Cosmos was born. They abused their power, casting the Greek world into eternal war, one you were created to stop. In destroying the cult, you have done what I could not. You are a hero, but this imbalance comes with a price, my child. For without chaos, there is supreme order, a loss of progression and freedom. But there is still hope. Hope in you. Hope in the future you will bring. We must fix the mistakes of the past. Use the staff. Repair the rift in the universe. The world depends on you, Cassandra. You need to be the hero again. So, you've seen it too then. It's beautiful, isn't it? What are you doing here? You killed the last member of the cult. Well, just about. What? It's true. I was their leader. But only for a moment, it seemed. When your brother came along, it changed everything we were aiming for. You agreed with them? The fucking cult? The powers that be in the Greek world weren't doing things the right way. The cult just wanted a clean slate. By way of corruption! Dirty drachmi! They killed people in a war they made themselves! Fueling war was one of the methods, yes. But it was controlled. Until suddenly it wasn't. And then I didn't like what we were doing anymore. I thought Demos was on your side. Not in the way we hoped. As you know, he's impossible to control. He worked his way to the helm, and then he held even more sway than I did. Palaka! Oh, so you were after us! Not you, your bloodline. People like Leonidas, like you, have always posed a threat. Then we met and you surprised me. You were nothing like Demos. Why not just use me? I was in the palm of your hand. You made me optimistic that you could help me bring down the cult that had become so corrupt. And you did, albeit unknowingly. You're all the same. Selfish and fucking destructive. It was different in the beginning. It wasn't about destruction. It was about redirection. I just don't understand. What about this pyramid? How does it work? Why does the cult have it? I've been trying to figure out all of that myself. It's as much of a mystery to you as it is to me. This pyramid has been worshipped by the cult for decades, and we have used it to replace the Oracle of Delphi, the most trusted person in all the Greek world. Using the people's reliance on a pantheon of dead gods would help to reshape humanity in our favor. The pyramid holds a mysterious power to see into time. But only certain people can activate it. People like Demos and the ones in your bloodline. But you've seen something too. I don't know how or why, but it did show me... something. What did you see? I saw you. In the vision, you destroyed the pyramid and you destroyed the cult. I saw what would come after. After the cult? We will be replaced by a new kind of order. Control under the reign of a philosopher king. There will be a movement away from the old gods toward rational society. Built in a kingdom by the people, for the people. And I must find someone to lead them. But I couldn't achieve any of this with the cult and their chaotic regime. So, I let them carry out their plans, and let the time of the cult of Cosmos come to an end on its own. Wait. Did Pericles know? 
I wanted to protect him, so I kept him in the dark. He would have had his own opinions, but he was never supposed to die. That is the truth. He trusted you, and in the end you didn't protect him. Maybe he would be alive if you'd stopped them. Gods know I would have if I could. When Vimos killed him, I knew the original cause was lost. I had to retreat. So, what happens now? We shift focus. We steer towards a new Republic under one supreme rule. A dream I'll make reality. But it is still a dream. One that isn't realistic. Abandon what you know and just imagine. Forget democracy. No more blue and red. Just citizens working for a greater good. This is crazy. It won't work, Aspasia. It didn't work. It's not crazy. It's enlightening. Once people in Athens get wind of this, they'll come to know they've wanted it all along. Even you. <sighs> I'm not sure. You've spent your whole life thinking for yourself. Let go. What I plan will require you to trust me. Come with me. This future's not a dream. You should go. Lead your new republic. I won't be the leader. We need someone with the knowledge of a philosopher and the wisdom of a king. That's a tall order these days. I couldn't have done this without you, Cassandra. You're doing the right thing. I always try to do what's right. Then we're after the same thing. Cassandra, there is much left to do now. I can weather any storm. Silent snake. What's going on? We will bring this evil creature to justice. They're lost in paranoia. They think I sacrificed my Ligia to the creature in the forest. Hold your fourth tongue. This walking curse is in league with a writhing thread. She just looks scared to me. Please, the creature took Ligia. If I die here, who will save her? I'll save Ligia and kill any creature that tries to stop me. What are you saying? She will lead you to the Petrified Temple and your doom. What exactly is this creature? Evil, heartless, unknowable. We must end this girl before she leads a writhing thread right to us. The forest where the creature lives. Where is it? Beyond the Petrified Temple, north of here. A damned place, haunted by sand and filled with cursed stone. At its center lie ancient ruins from which few return. You mentioned the Ligia. She's... Beyond beauty, beyond grace. A daughter of Artemis. Brave, not like me. What dark prize did the writhing dread offer for her she soul? She lives, Mystios. I know it. This writhing dread has let Ligia live. We'll need to move now. Follow me. Careful. These people are driven by fear. The girl's coming with me. I'd suggest not standing in our way. She's whispered spells in your ear, Mystios. Citizens, we must save our city, and these interlopers must bleed. Hide in the temple. I'll deal with this. You're safe now. Safe? I don't want to be safe, Mystios. I want to look deep into Ligia's eyes just once more, even if it kills me. Be smart, be cautious, and with my help, you will look into your lover's eyes again. It doesn't need to cost your life. You know, I don't want to call you you forever. My name's Bris. Cassandra. Ligia's waiting for me, Cassandra. If I'd been captured, 
I'd never have to wait for her. Then let's not disappoint her. Where was she taken? From our sanctuary, the dread ruins in the Petrified Valley. And you're surprised she was taken by a creature? This place is ours, Ligia's and mine. A forbidden place for forbidden love. Not much of a love nest. I've seen more romantic funerals. I found scraps of her clothes leading to the writhing dreads lair. Please, we need to hurry. Time to find Ligia. You lead the way. Ligia! Ligia! Brice, wait! Malaka! Better go after her. We need to get inside, but I see no openings, and the walls are too smooth to climb. She shouldn't be in there. She should be in my arms. Her breath, her smell. Every night we'd meet at the dread ruins. I was late, just once. I wanted to find her a rose, something as perfect as she is. This is my fault. If I'd gotten there in time, then you'd both be trapped inside. Together? You are searching for a rose, a gift. Never regret an act of kindness, Breeze. Thank you. What do you know about this place? Ligia is a daughter of Artemis. Her people trained here long ago. A legend tells of an ancient artifact they recovered in a pit full of snakes. She believed they still had it, hidden in their village on Hios. I'll find it. There's also a mercenary, a man who claims he killed the creature. Impossible! But many believe him. He might know something. You said Ligia knew how to get into the lair. Where exactly is the key? The daughters of Artemis hide their most prized possessions in a cave in their village. It's protected by wild beasts and fierce warriors. The key is shaped like a disc. If they have it, it will be there. This mercenary, the slayer of the writhing dread, where can I find him? He waits in a temple atop the hill in ancient peril. Champions from all over seek to challenge him to build their reputations, but there is no way he killed the creature. If he did, how was Ligia taken? Did you see the creature yourself? No, but only the writhing dread would be strong enough to take Ligia. She's too fierce. And too stubborn. I'll find a way inside, and then I'll kill this creature. And I'll find Ligia the Rose I should have given her that night. Someone, I tell you, in another time will remember us. The poet Sappho. Our favorite. Please, Cassandra, hurry. Excuse me? We're born into darkness and rise up to the greatest peaks before descending into darkness once more. A warrior and a sophist. This is a first. It is not philosophy. It's truth. Learn through violence, fate, and seeing evil. True evil. You're talking about the writhing dread? The creature. When it ambushed us outside, we thought only of survival. My spear allowed me to stay out of its gaze. I was lucky. My friends weren't. Tell me how you were able to defeat the creature. It all happened so fast. We had a plan to break into the temple and corner it, but it ambushed us before we got inside. There was no time for strategy after that. Why go after the creature in the first place? We were hired to steal an ancient item from within its lair by masked soldiers. Tell me about the item they wanted you to steal. Truth is, I don't even think they knew exactly what it is. After I killed the creature, I went to search the lair, but it was sealed. Give me that spear. We are warriors. To let it go without a fight would be to dishonor my fallen friends. <laughs> Ooh. 
nothing special about this spear. I'll keep looking. A disc from Leia's story. I hope it opens the writhing dreads lair, like they say. The mercenary knew nothing. He never made it inside the lair. Then it was a waste of time. Leia waits and we've done nothing to help her. Not exactly. The mercenary carried this spear, which he claims killed the writhing dread. No, no! The creature took Lia. It can't be dead. It waits in its lair, even now. Then there may be a piece of this puzzle we don't yet understand. Have you found a way inside the lair? Lia's story was true. The daughters of Artemis were protecting this... ...disc... ...key... ...this... I have what opens the lair. And you didn't hurt any of the daughters when you took it? Eh, there was no need for violence. The daughters of Artemis didn't even know I was there. And Tihi truly is on our side. Ligia still stands a chance. Brice, wait! the artifact and transformed into that creature. I wonder how many people have become the writhing dread over the centuries. Someone, I tell you, in another time, will remember us. Well done. This artifact will bring us closer to seeing... This is incredible. The knowledge stored here is overwhelming. It will take me years to decipher it all. What about sealing Atlantis? Have you found a way to do it? Oh, yes, yes, I think so. Well, what is it? The staff. The staff is the key. All right. It's time. I can't. Not yet. We can't stay here. We don't have the time. There is so much to learn. With this knowledge, we can turn the tide of fate. That is not our destiny. You said so yourself. You're losing sight of what's important. I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. It was your plan to seal this place, and I agreed to help. 
That was before I realized what we would uncover about the first civilization. The creation of humankind. We are sealing this place to keep the cult from using it to enslave humanity. That is bigger than your quest for knowledge. The cult will be nothing but an insect to swat once the power is ours. It's too dangerous to leave this place open, and you know it. You wouldn't understand. Your pride will cost us all in the end. It's not about pride. What good is knowledge if you curse all of humanity in the process? It's what you wanted to avoid in the first place. Sometimes it's better if we find our own path. We are not ready for the power this place offers. You're right. I cannot save humanity directly, but I can save it from itself. This is your burden now. Humanity's fate will be decided by the choices you make. I understand. Cassandra, choose wisely. Everything in order? Then... Open Sesame! So much power! The nodes are interconnected in ways I couldn't imagine! This is more complex than any Isu temple we found. Lispin! The Arctic! I'm recording everything, Layla. You're going to be a hero for discovering this. Do you see the staff anywhere? Not yet. But there's more to explore. I'll find it. The mechanism should be open. What's wrong? I, I don't know, Layla. I'll check my notes on the Isu. Oh, I see it. There's a beam of light missing. Time to troubleshoot. exists in knowing that you know nothing a good friend told me that once possible Cassandra yes I used to be called the eagle bearer but Icarus is long gone I've been searching for you but you can't. It's... <laughs> you weren't really looking for me, were you? It works! The Isu artifact, the staff of Hermes Trismegistus! You must have so many questions, Leila. You know my name? Maybe the gods told me. Maybe I had a vision of the future. Maybe the device in your ear is noisy. Sorry. I came here with a purpose. To find you, and put an end to what I started many centuries ago. I have your spear. Would you like it back? Oh, no. You can keep it. It's broken. But you used it broken. 
It was powerful. I used it to defeat enemies even Herodotus could not describe. But everything must come to an end. I left it to him when its power was exhausted. Something to remember me by. I... I have so much to tell you. That staff is incredibly important. It kept you alive. How? Ask a student of Hippocrates. I hear he still has some. The staff served its purpose. My friends and I are trying to keep it out of the hands of the Templar Order. Listen to me. Order? Chaos? If either triumphs alone, the world dies. I tried to bring an end to chaos, and it has only led to ruin. I used to assist order. Now I fight for choice. Freedom. Chaos. Pythagoras was right. You are the key to the prophecy. You will restore the balance, Leila. I have fought in too many wars. I have seen too many people die. I have walked from one end of the earth to the other. This... ...belongs to you now. Promise me one thing. Anything. When you are done... ...destroy it. Destroy them all. What are you two doing here? You know us. Always on your tail. Old Herodotus couldn't wait to see you. I told you, Van Nevers. Sira is said to hold a secret. A secret no one can fathom. Yes, but a lost world. It's perfectly possible. Atlantis may exist. Sounds like Hui to me, but he's insistent about it. Herodotus is right. Atlantis exists. Incredible! It's true! I can't believe it. Tell me everything. My mother sent me here to meet my real father. You know, Pythagoras? It's him. Your father was living in a volcano? Pythagoras? That's unthinkable. It would make him immortal. He had the staff that belonged to the ancient civilization. It kept him alive all this time. Makes perfect sense. Well, where is he? Invite him along. He's your father, after all. <sighs> he was a stubborn man. He wanted to keep all the knowledge of Atlantis to himself. <laughs> stubborn. I suppose that trait runs in the family. He means he's sorry for your loss. It's all right. But none of this can ever pass your lips. This stays between us. You have my word. But the world needs to know. We could tell the most amazing tale of our time. Herodotus. Oh, fine. Then it's settled. Let's move forward. Like always. a lot, haven't we? You know it all. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm on the hunt for truth. Gods know not all your myths are accurate. They come from the gods themselves, who are the most reliable sources we have. 
You've both been a great help to me. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong. And you would know, as the eagle-bearing demigod you are, perhaps she, too, is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> sure I am. I do know one thing for certain. This has been an odyssey I won't forget.